Welcome to Crash 2. I'm going to save over this thing I don't think I want to. What I did before I load, I saved that had everything back to zero. This is Crash Dash. Hmm, you haven't figured it out yet. This is a game about puns. Even though I don't think this is a pun, but. If you saw the hint, yeah, it's, it's true. If you slide, you move faster. But then you have a slight delay to keep moving. But look, if you spin at the end, you never stop moving. And that's the easiest way to keep your momentum going. And start to make a gap between you and everything that is behind you. In this, like, running stages. I know, it doesn't really matter too much what is in front of you. It usually just the stupid mice that never killed you. Therefore, trying to stop you. And make you go slower. It's not going to work. Well, it's going to work. I never memorized where they are, but... It's not going to be the end of the world, I think. Um. <laughs> I do believe these are a lot more interesting. They did a lot more with uh, chase scenes. Chase scenes? Not doing this one. Always diving, crash fighting. Metal crate just falling back down. <laughs> I learned. I'm so proud of myself. One, two, three, four, five. I know, this bonus stage is not have like anyone like just waiting there. There's no kidnapping this time, so... It's just us trying to save the world with Cortex or Dear Dad, who is trying not to manipulate us in any sort of way. Who dare you think that he is going to do something horrible like between us? How dare you? The rock does destroy quite a bit of uh, boxes around, but it's not always going to destroy every single box that is on the way. There are some exceptions later on, so do destroy them yourself, if possible. And if you want gem, if not, uh, the boxes do not do anything for you aside of full pass on lives and stuff like that. Which is still incredibly helpful still. Just saying. Really? No introduction cutscene? <laughs> I forgot it just I'm that the important there. But Cortex uh, appears. Uh, well, first off, in the original release on the PS1, we only have stages here. There is not this boss door here. So you complete every single one of these stages, and then Cortex appears and is like, Be careful, Crash. In Rio, it's like on my tails, he's trying to stop us and he's trying to destroy the world or something. And he's going to try to seek you or something. Uh, the thing is that, well, after that, he's going to say that they are trying to ambush you in between, like, levels or transition to worse, so then this thing will become available and crash really like <laughs> and you can press up and go to the next world, uh, room but in between the transition is where Reaper Rule will be able to attack you and you will enter the boss fight huh? makes sense? I will play this game one day in PS1 version but not now I know this part where the 
all the levels just disappear. I don't believe it's in the original version either. But I guess they are just trying to make you go here. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't play with nitro boxes. Nitro, nitro. The loading screen was very short, so I don't know what else it said. It's not too much of a hard fight, but finding the safe spots uh, is kind of difficult for me. You never do anything more than wait till he starts popping up these guys. Mm -hmm. Force it was mass ta times as no um, multiplicated by acceleration I guess. <laughs> I just reading the the very <clears throat> yeah very super insightful stuff that he just put around his stage. It was kinda hard when he's just jumping around trying to hit, hit you with his TNTs. <laughs> I never knew that if that was a super safe space, but <laughs> it's better to just jump in case he's mm, not quite safe there. And yeah, uh, I think this is after the ending of Crash 1 when everything is like super <laughs> happy and it's like River Road just went to college or something to get that degree. And he should, he should have been attacking us in the original version. It does no longer work like that. That is like the me when the gorilla is on the in the milk and he's just like this is kid, I don't have much time left. The name of President Obama is and he just dis disappears into the milk. It's the same here. And here's when Coco from the future, not the Coco that is trying to contact us here, will appear to try to help us. The thing is that it's very weird because, well, it doesn't make sense in lore. She's, she will try to warn us and be like, "Hey, Crush, we already went through this in the future. You are um, kind of intrigued. Oh, I mean, <coughs> spoilers. <laughs> uh, Cortex is being super nice because he really cares about you and you are like his son, so those do trust him a lot. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> Uh, no, I really didn't because I never stood like just waiting forever there Just for Crush to do like the dance with Coco on the side And this is Polar One of the most adorable parts of the game But they kind of ruined his voice here. He did sound like a Like a dog. He barked like a dog on the original version Now he's like whoa, 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 whoa. And he's like <laughs> uh, one more thing, in the original version, when you beat the bosses, then you can just freely move between warp prompts. And then you are like, oh, I wish I could maybe defeat the bosses again because they were so much fun and all. Well, you can. 
just keep a uh, triangle pressed go up and then you should be able to fight the bosses in the transition it doesn't work here because the bosses are always available now that they have like a boss tour where should i go first why not from eh, nah just keep let's keep just the uh, order from before from the first warp room to the last one Let's. More is new. Uh, more wildlife to massacre, I guess. Oh, I need the... Uh, yeah, I need the jump here. Yeah, this level... Yeah, it is that level. I'm not gonna get every single box done. I made a mistake. The first level should be the one where I can get every single box the first time. And this should be the one that I need the jam for getting every single box. Oh, pff. well, what's the mother? <laughs> what do you think I am not good at this game? <laughs> These are my life. I love them. I love the entire debacle of it. If this all like good, <laughs> I thought I was sliding to the other side by the way, so don't blame me for this. And this is a dead in the bonus stages, so it doesn't really count. Since it doesn't really enjoy my life. life Wait, what did I go back to the special stage, the bonus stage, if I didn't want to... Blech. Okay, maybe I have a little bit of crush in me. <laughs> I've opened our debacle if these games are like good recreations and good remakes. I do like them a lot, but the problems I have with them is that they didn't really capture the wackiness of Crunch. I don't know, something feels missing on his blank stir. And his eyebrows just floating above his cocktail model on his head. Not really being part of himself, just being there. <laughs> It's stuff that I feel like is missing from the game. <laughs> if you don't can if you don't already, I love the music on this game. George Mansell always doing a very fantastic job on this stuff. I couldn't even imagine it, what this game would be without him. I don't even care or exaggerating I did my lip. I believe. Perfect run, and you get a platform to appear. Mm -hmm. But also feel like the games are a little less heavy on the construct. Contrast, contrast. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This believe is like missing the heavy. TV shadows and and contrasts. Everything was very, very colorful. Until the release, by the way. Uh, 
even more than before, than now. Wait. Yeah, this is one of the specialist things that I should just get out of my head right away. See the boxes? See the platform there? <laughs> this made me so scared when I was a kid. It was like, oh, how do I get there? Because I, I, I had like this brain moment when I was like, wait, what happens if I get there with these boxes? This is what happens. <laughs> Discover and finish the secret route for a special gen. This is a secret route. And it's not easy. It's mostly a issue with these stupid porcupines. These aren't hedgehogs. Because they have like the big spikes and all. And believe me, I know the difference. One of them basically just stabbed my finger. We don't have them in my country, but one of my cousins just saved one, and he was taking care of them because, because well, they didn't have like a place to live in my country. I believe someone just tried to mogul them one into this country for whatever reason, maybe to sell them, and and they just left them room free uh, outside of his house. He was very scared, and he just took it in. And I didn't know, uh, and I saw this weird creature, and I was like, oh, it's so, it's so cute. And I tried to pet it, and he got his spikes up. And impaled one of my fingers. It was freaking. Oh. It was so freaking painful. You wouldn't believe. Ow. This game has a bug where the Aku Mask after the Super Form will not show the correct colors, apparently. And now, I get to see it, in the full glory. The bug. Because I never noticed it before. I kinda just... notice on the Crash 1 streams, because, well, it happened to me, so... Mm -hmm. And I remember being so freaking... <sighs> How do you say this? Desperate? Freaking terrified? It was so freaking painful. I wanted to cry and I wanted to die. <laughs> oh my god, it was fun. Not being impaled, it was fun the situation. Just seeing myself there panicking and my family being like, what happened? What is this? <sighs> yeah, the memories. Do I have any good memories? I don't believe so. <laughs> oh, I also remember that uh, they were doing like um, this ice cream, ice cream thingies. I don't know how do you call them. I'm having one of those moments where your brain just stops working and you don't remember how to call stuff. Yeah, um, it's not a palette. In my country, it's a paleta, but... Mm. Ice cream... It's not a cone, though. It's when it's ice cream on a stick. Okay, let's go with that. Ice cream on a stick. So they had, like... Chocolate. Melted chocolate, so they could put on top of the... Ice cream by dipping it on the uh, well chocolate. 
And my first thought was like, I don't know what kind of stops the pain. Kind of stop the pain because the pain was so freaking unbearable. And I dip my freaking finger on the hot chocolate. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was so stupid. Uh, you know, you want to know what the, it's the fun part? Well, I didn't burn myself because the, the chocolate was hot, but it wasn't like burning hot. It, it was just melted chocolate. And the pain of, the, of being impaled by a hedgehog, no a hedgehog, it's a porcupine a spike was a lot bigger, so... <laughs> what sort of reason it worked? I don't know why! <laughs> it helped a lot! Oh my god. Mm. Ah, the memories. I'm mean, hurt badly so much. And it's funny because I, I am the kind of guy that is very super careful about what this what kind of stuff he even does. So. <laughs> the, the fact that I get that they gave it in, in these situations where everything just <laughs> life threatening, I guess. Uh, I mean, my finger is not going to kill me, but in these situations where I just suffer all the pain, is. Where to tank about? <laughs> oh my god. Oof. And I believe that's the entire war room just completed. Yeah. Let's go to sip one. <laughs> uh, I will remember the other one a situation where I got hurt very badly. Remember? I was on a freaking treadmill and I was like 10 years old. I didn't know how to work, but my cousin said that he knew. So, without consulting my mother or my parents, anyone, uh, we got into this treadmill that was in a, a sports center. The way you, we were visiting, I don't know why. We were like on the beach. And suddenly I remember being in a sports center. I don't remember how we got even there. But I was very curious and I was like, oh, this is like the treadmills that they show in the cartoons. And, and the characters always like, get hurt in these things. But it's supposed to be safe. It was a cartoon, and I was like, yeah, I think like that. <laughs> um, I forgot that those platforms just go down after a while. <laughs> so I got into the, the thing, and my cousin started to give me, like, uh, the speed of the treadmill uh, and he started to uh, put numbers there <laughs> and the thing started to go faster and faster and faster and faster and I think he hoped I would just give up and get out to get off the treadmill but it got so freaking fast that I couldn't just control it I I couldn't control how fast it was going because my hands were all just trying to run do I include these sets? Okay, just for now. <laughs> and he was just finding this uh, entire situation like very funny. Even though I was just very desperate because I didn't know what would happen if I just fail. So he just keep increasing the number until I just couldn't keep up. And instead of just 
letting myself fall. I just grabbed on the side. Because this thing had like some bars. So people could grab them. Boom. To help with the running, I believe. Well, it did help me not fall, I guess, because. Well, I did fail, but I was grabbing to those things because I didn't want to let go. I was wearing short. The treadmill started to just peel my skin away. On my freaking knees. <laughs> oh my god, I, I really don't have any good memories, do I? <laughs> Everything is about precision. Uh, I mean. But, uh, after you reach uh, that platform, it doesn't really matter what you do because you can die and you will just be outside of the dead platform, I believe. Or your checkpoint. And they won't disappear. Unless you die outside of them, I believe. The LDR, if you die in a, in a dead platform level part, they shouldn't disappear. I believe. Uh, yeah, I need that. that. It's, it's the only way I can just get back. See? You see it there. Let's see if with this dead that I totally just planned now, it's going to still be there. Oh no, it's dead though. Never mind. Apparently, if you go to the dead platform, then you can die whenever. Don't get into stink. It's dead. Boom. 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 And that's how you get gem in this level. The box list. The box gem at least. I say before I just go and drown. <laughs> Come on. Oh well I have a lot of lives. No one, but right now I am trying to make this not painful for me. Hmm. Um. Excuse me. Where am I missing something? Because. This box is going to be here, I think. Mm. There is a detonator somewhere. Wait, do I need to... Um Maybe it's on the wall though. I don't remember. Hmm, something's wrong. Yeah, how am I supposed to get every single box so I don't have to the detonator? And it's not like I just can't get back. If I go to the death route, I'm going to just... Mm -hmm. Think, think. There's something I'm missing. Pfft, 
<laughs> Not dying. I lost count of how many times he just died trying to get whatever thing I missed on the ring. It shouldn't be here. No, it's not here. So where is the freaking tornado? Hmm. Oh, well, I always have the ability to just go back to this level, so why not? I just couldn't find it underneath. Why? Where is this thing? Mm. It should be around the end? Because if not, then. <sighs> remember, remember when I go to that place, when I go to that place, 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 place. <laughs> Remember when I just jumped the box and then got to a super weird place? Well... That is War from Zero. Here. It's a sick ro War from. And see here? It says Air Crash. And the thing is that... This War from uh, doesn't really have new levels per se, it's two new levels here. These two, these two here. But the rest of them are secret entrances to already existing levels. So you can get more gems and stuff like that. Make sense? So that's why they are saying the same name. But they won't put you on the same place that you start if you go there normally. For example, this one got me into the dead route. Hmm? Well, dead route it is more like a gem route now. Route Ruin and Earth Crutch are the only other two that I need to find now. So I can get the gems there. The second gem. In this case, the box gem though. <laughs> In the real version, you can't just go back down and get into this secret warp room. The only way to get there was by going to the secret exit that I got into before. So this is a very good inclusion because you can get in here much more easily. And it's a lot more unclear where this is but this is just in the middle of the ocean and in there you should be seeing the, the castle of Cortex I think on the or the island from the first game. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. It's a shame that it's just so difficult to get into. And you may be looking at this thing and be uh, questioning yourself, what is this? Well, remember that I said before that the um, original version didn't have like this boss door? They didn't have nothing there. They had like a wall. I just now remember. And this wall was used for saving the game. So you will go to the wall and then this will disappear. And you can save. Mm -hmm. I am very knowledgeable on me game because I love this franchise. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. And this was my first time streaming on YouTube. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I just wanted to share my game. Of comfort, I guess. And I will be streaming Cuphead DLC just in two days from now. From today. But you won't see this in the future, so... Hmm. With that said, I need to go. And it peanuts because I'm depressed today. 
Bounce away, my friends. Bye. I mean, bounce away, my friends. Yeah, that's that's cool. Bounce away, my friends. <laughs> Bye.